Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today's webinar we are conducting on industrial IoT tools and application in the field of uh, the automatic control systems and automation as well. Uh, today we have our uh, guest of the speaker, Mr. Jamin Chattawala sir. Sir is working as a system analyst in Optimal Solution Private Limited, Ahmedabad. Uh, Jamin sir is having uh, more than 14 years of experience uh, in the domain of the uh, automation and uh, control system as well. Uh, before this particular uh, optimized system solution uh, has joined, Sir is already working as a project manager server system for almost two and a half years. Uh, as well as he has only worked at the mm -hmm. SCLP uh, PS Software Private Limited, Gandhinagar, for two years. And many uh, different industries in which Sir has worked in the domain of uh, different automation projects over there as well. Now, uh, Sir is also working in the different industrial IoT projects. Okay, and he is also associated with the uh, system uh, optimized solution over there. Uh, they are having their own industrial IoT projects. Are there. So for today's session, I invite uh, Jamin sir uh, here for to deliver and to give sir expertise uh, for the uh, further development of our students as well. Uh, Jamin sir, can you please start the, your own expert session here? Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Parav sir, for the brief introduction and uh, invite me in your particular session. Uh, hello everyone. Already you got my uh, got brief introduction about me from Mr. Bharat sir. So I will not uh, uh, take your time out from the much formalities. I will start my presentation. Uh, so just brief. What is industrial IoT? That will I will cover first basic. Then we will go through the industry's live example where IoT can uh, implement in actual uh, industries and different domains that will be covered later on. First, I will go through uh, how can we implement and what is IoT, correct? So this is my today's agenda. So what is about basic automation, revolution in IoT, the industry uh, 4.0, where is now, and what is in new, mar in new market, like what I, I share right now, that uh, industrial experience, example. And question answers, maybe, it will happen or not, I will be said later on. So there is a brief ABCD, you can say ABCD of IoT. It's a basic a first, we will cover applications, which type of application in that, that will cover later on. Then data analysis, like report generations, like uh, you can say that different type of making of dashboards, different analysis, historian, report activity, alarms, that kind of, that kind of stuff can be covered in the data analysis. Then connectivity and communication, that is a, main focus in 2020, 21, 22 onward, like a bridge between the field field activity and your cloud-based monitoring. There's a bridge, you can say connect with communication lights, we can use as a gateway. So gateway can be main part for the IoT in industry that I will cover in uh, example. Uh, after that, we can discuss on the uh, device, which are right now we are using like uh, Smart watch, there are different type of sensors in that. Then uh, fit build, that kind of is also an uh, IoT based uh, solution is that we can provide that. So these are main uh, ABCD of the, you can say IoT. So first application, second data analysis, third is connectivity, and fourth is a device that are smart devices are there. Like uh, speedometer, smart uh, and uh, mobiles. Uh, with connection of uh, gateway, with connection of fit build, connection of smart watches, that kind of device can be connected in the that device is like that. Now, revolution, how industry 4.0 is now? So, early of 18th century industry 1.0 is there, like uh, how big machines are there, machine equipment are there, driven by different kind of activity, like in terms of water, in terms of stream. So, only mechanical work. Uh, during initial stage of 18th century, and smart, partially revolution in that 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 time that called industry 2.0, like uh, convertible belt application, any food industries, any pharma industries, convertible belt applications, partially can move in automation sector, like uh, rotating part will be there, but manually operation is uh, was still there during 19th century, and we can uh, you can say that third like PLC. And controller that can be invented in the third, in the you can say industry 3.0, like uh, fourth quarter of 20th century, like uh, 2000, early days of 2000, where PLC based 
controller based automation just started in that like uh, in uh, robotics industry in cement industry in oil and gas industries that kind of industries uh, started to use of controller by help of controller so manpower can be reduced in that now what are right now what is this industry 4.0 industry 4.0 is nothing but bridge between physical device and cloud device that is a you can say is a bridge between that like we are using gateway gateway plus smart computing device plus physical interface plus cloud computing plus monitoring uh, via gateway in the dashboard controlling parameters different critical parameters get and get kind of stuff can be implement in industry 4.0 correct so i uh, what is revolution in iot so iot what kind of revolution right now uh, right now we are uh, assuming what we are viewing what what we are facing that kind of stuff can be implemented in revolution in iot iot and industry 4.0 both are both are going in parallel right so these are the different iot based solution different sector like in industry you can say oil and gas cement industries pharma industries in different government organization like isro bark and uh, ipr prl that kind of all industries are now now pushed to iot based solution then different facility like home automation office automation parking automation building management that kind of stuff can be covered in the facility the retail marketing retail like our food and beverage industries like mall can uh, warehouse management that kind that all can be right now using iot based solution then fleet like transportation airport railway station bus all are connected with at one moment they are using iot based solution like smart camera like smart solution like uh, smart attendance system that can be monitor on cloud how uh, cloud like barcode scanner barcode system parking management that all are connected in one way or any some other way there are uh, they provide iot based solution then healthcare what is healthcare in healthcare right now robotic uh, type solution also provided like uh, you can say that uh, uh, if uh, doctor is not available or any team or some of team of the some of the member is missing so right now that kind of solution is already invented in the foreign in, in foreign country robot can do the uh, operation do the some activity and there are multiple biomedical instruments are also there like uh, some uh, healthcare some devices are there they are connected with cloud so you can you can check their data from amdavad to bombay machine is in amdavad you can check their data from bombay any expert doctor is uh, sitting in bombay so he can reporting he can touch with you that kind of stuff in that so that can be that can be considered in healthcare also uh, second uh, fifth is the farming and the farming uh, it's a very right now very huge demand in farming like different type of parts different uh, leaves different trees have a different phenomena so if they want that kind of stuff on, on cloud means every season every uh, like every different type of weather different farming will be there so if they want different type of data on cloud like on mobile or on any, any devices they can be viewed from the typical type of sensors are there they can be inserted in the land they can be inserted around the devices you know, uh, smart devices like routers that can be connected with a sensor then automotive sector right now we all are aware that driverless car is just near to launch so driverless car different camera different sensors different algorithm can be there so due to that you can say that automotive sector is also boom then mining sector In mining sector uh, government also pushing uh, smart technology so due to with help of smart technology mining sector is also also booming so there are a basic solution in the industry where iot based solution can be fixed now how iot can work sensors with rfid and smart devices and nano devices so all are connected with each other and from that you can transmit the data on a cloud on whatever local server or remote remote server so basically uh, how can how data can transmit 
data can be transmitted through either remotely or locally so gateway is a bridge for to transmit the data so in, in terms of technical mqtt data in sql form that kind of on that kind of data can be transmitted through gateway and communication part if i am considering in the physical side in the communication mode bus tcp ip ethernet profibus profinet that kind of communication protocol can be helped to transmit data from your actual field instruments to gateway and from gateway there are different type of gateway that I will, that I will cover later on how different how much type of gateway is there that can be transmit data on your local server or whatever remote server what wherever you want to transmit the data and on dashboard different type of dashboard will be there how you can monitor how you can control data that i will share a couple of screen for that so now i will cover industry 4.0 what is vision of industry 4.0 what i discuss that factory automation digitalization increasing use of cobots big data analysis and big iot so these are the basic uh, application you can say basic factor how you can uh, how we can implement industry 4.0 so these are the basic parameters uh, and the basic sector where you can implement industry 4.0 so these are the four sector in india right now where focusing iot based connected a different segment like uh, i will cover briefly not in detail because it will take more time first automated take it tested equipment where that you can see that any type of industry like where manufacturing devices that suppose i am giving an example in hitachi hitachi is a manufacturing of ac inverters different type of industrial switches residences switches that kind of switches in that in uh, suppose in the line in conveyor line if any part is missing if any part is not sensing and they want predictive maintenance there are different type of maintenance is there predictive maintenance local like mechanical maintenance is there for for that if they want data at what time uh, sensor is not sensing and part is not available at that time particular time on conveyor that predictive maintenance predictive analysis can be done on cloud but for that how you can implement you can implement like suppose on conveyor belt there are multiple devices multiple product is kind uh, is passing through that we want to uh, we want to install particular sensor like uh, device sensor with barcode scanner because every product will be there with including barcode scanner because particular id device id it can be say that like it's device id so without device id product cannot be scanned product can not cannot be detected so once that uh, part will be passed the sensor will be sensed and that sensing data that sense right now sensor is also coming like with communication protocol like the data can be transmit through rs45 or through ethernet on local server on or cloud so suppose they have a shift eight hour shift is there so suppose in a eight hour 5000 ac can be scanned and dispatching area 5000 per per you can say like uh, uh, per shift so per day they have targeting 50000 or 40000 or whatever they have, they have a target suppose some fault is there some barcode is not by chance barcode is not fitted on the ac so how you can justify suppose uh, all ac are passing on conveyor belt suppose one barcode is not there the sense sensor will not send and there can be fast data on cloud that this barcode is particular at that time barcode is not scanned so there can be fast data on cloud and that uh, can be useful for the dispatch area so these are basic how iot can be used on industry so I, what can be covered in that like uh, image processing also is there qa qc verification also there machine conditioning monitoring also can be used in conveyor belt application that speed test also is there then uh, already is a conveyor belt application so obviously plc based control system is there so plc based control system with scada or dcs as per requirement client requirement other they can implement scada or they can implement hmi based application hmi is a small device they can fit at the uh, same location like you can It's a mini scada, like seven inch HMI, ten inch HMI, twelve inch HMI, as per client's requirement. So this is this can be covered in automated tested equipment. Now automation. 
everywhere you all hear automation 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 but in industry you can see how automation can implement in theoretical you all are aware how what is automation how automation implement and uh, in google you can say in if you google there are different uh, theory and different practical application you can also refer in automation but automation is widely right now in every sector electrical I, i will cover that what is electrical control panel there are different type of panel is there right now panel with iot also in available market like uh, i will give you an example suppose one electrical control panel there are different type of panels also same electrical panel motor control panel power control panel then a plc based panel so this kind of uh, vfd vfd based control system so these all are panel every in every sector control panel should be there because without power consumption without any controlling industry cannot be run so what i uh, how iot iot come in that in picture suppose you want uh, the, all the data of electrical parameters on cloud so you have energy meter in built in panel multi function meter like voltage current power power factor like into line voltage line to meter voltage that kind of data you can show on panel but if you want same data on cloud on dashboard like if uh, you have any ip static ip enter ip you will log in is a num password device id so you can fetch data particularly that panel from anywhere panel is installed in india and you want to uh, you want to see that data in the london so you can directly see the data and you not see you can control and you can live you can monitor the data and you can check that like uh, if, uh, data can be plus the second final so this, this is the uh, how iot then plc right now plc is also coming uh, like inbuilt iot based plc is also there so directly you can fetch data plc data like because in plc there are different parameters different critical parameters also there like uh, in plc there are digital input digital output analog input analog output and in that also different type of ios are there like isolated confirm coded non isolated like uh, if you are say and if you are imagining that i want a relay output i want uh, switching output like pnp output or if you want that i want uh, sir in in uh, input i have different thermocouple different temperature sensor and i want that i want to transmit data in uh, i want see the data in the scada or iot based solution and on dashboard so what can we do what can we do like suppose i will connect that sensor input side uh, in a ai signal and then you can transmit the data uh, transmitter is also there any sensor right now is inbuilt with transmitter is called temperature transmitter it's called pressure transmitter it's called vacuum transmitter it's called velocity velocity transmitter it kind of transmitters are connected in input side and output side there these are the transmitters uh, have a inbuilt retransmission facility so where you can whenever you uh, wherever you want to transmit the data it can it can be possible so that kind of stuff also is there but there is a limitation because you all are aware that ethernet based and morbus based have a limitation like 100 meters more than 100 meters you want to uh, put switches or uh, connectors like that but right now fiber optic based solution is also there. you all are aware that you atel all are all have a, we have broad internet on fiber optic base so in fiber optic there is no limitation to transmit the data so that kind of activity also you can so you can see in the industry when you when you chance to get any industry visit or you will in future if you work if you will work in an industry so you will get that kind of stuff in that so this that is that then variable frequency drive what i will that uh, vfd vfd have a light light or light or you can say heavy kind of that uh, heavy duty and normal duty this type of two type of vfd is there like suppose uh, vfd range is 0.5 kilowatt and you want you want uh, 1.5 kilowatt heavy duty so there are different uh, different type of vfd also is there then servo drive 
an energy monitoring system that i will explain to you in this example in the uh, later on then scada this kind of automation can be done in different sector now what is product engineering services you all are aware that uh, in every in every electronic device there is a pcb correct so pcb have a different type of tool like different type of uh, pcb is there and different chip is there so how you can uh, do that engineering services suppose in manufacturing you are manufacturing pcb and same i what i covered in a convert application that can the same application can be implement in pcb designing because there are different type of pcb is there and different chip is there so if you want if you want to do that that can be also in that same way whatever we uh, whatever we what can we do in the convert based application then embedded software is there then infrared testing will be there then electro optical testing is also is there now testing and measurement tool these are devices which which are we can use in automation we can use in uh, testing equipment automated testing equipment where uh, industry based solution is there these are the different tools with which data you can directly fetch on iot based like on cloud or you can say on dashboard this kind of activity can be also done like oscilloscope logic analysis function generators multimeter power supply these are all the, the all are the equipment of control panel no? and test bench also is there what is test bench suppose uh, if you want if you want to check how much capacity of any plant any manufacturing that so in every plant in every fmcg uh, industry there is a test bench is there you all are aware that baq system so that system is connected with the test bench and there is a labview software is there ni based missile instrument so labview software and their hardware is capable that uh, all the testing equipment can be interface that particular devices so this can be covered in that also then signal generators and power meter so these are the main four segment where iot can be connected in one way or in some any other way so how iot work iot gateways work what, what i share earlier in the left side you can say that these are the your field instrument different devices which are already in the field so you can say different sensors proxy sensors encoder temperature sensors this kind of sensors you are connected in the field and from the field wiring can be done in particular at location like panel or whatever any electrical hardware and from that we have any different type of gate that i am talking about this iot based gateway this gateway this gateway are uh, heart of that particular solution like right now in the market you have however you heard that uh, we are providing iot based solution so you must aware that gateway is there so in gateway modbus based gateway is also there ethernet communication uh, and wireless gateway is also is there and uh, 4g sim card based gateway is also there one sim card will be there and from the sim card you can directly fetch data from where uh, if you get data on gateway then that gateway have own protocol that can be smart uh, that can be uh, transfer the data on the cloud or whatever particular local server is there suppose two type of data transfer is there either remotely or locally so depends on your static or dynamic ip data can be viewable on a particular ip and from username and login you can fetch the data on online so these are basic right now uh, which language is used to transfer the data from physical devices to cloud mqtt mqtt bridge is there in every gateway mqtt programming is there for any type of gateway or any type of circuit is like zigbee on zigbee protocol or raspberry pi mqtt type programming is right now very very widely used in the industry devices socket gateway these is your hardware side now other part is in software side programming on mqtt bridge 
which is which can be programmed on your uh, you have if you have own platform or you if you're not on platform you can do programming on linux you can programming on windows based different applications once completed the programming you can generate that you can generate if you can generate the code and that can be code can be transferred on cloud particularly location like ip every cloud has a different ip just like everyone has a different address home address so that kind of same application can be applicable on a cloud based application cloud based iot and then pub and sub stuff is there now i will cover is free remaining time over half an hour i will cover three application in industry these are the three industry right now very uh, demanding industry mainly these industries are government is pushing basically is this three industry ems energy monitoring system train monitoring system then smart pumping station everywhere adani ongc all are these whichever you are uh, wherever uh, oil and gas and supplying uh, industries there they are all are pushing smart pumping station so this is ems system we are calling it as a in an industry we, we are calling ems system how ems system is work suppose uh, i I'll give you the example only suppose proton power is there gb is there every energy body is there they have own power generation is there uh, power in power generation there are two types generation and consumption in both way solution will be there in generation losses is there in consumption not losses but uh, how you uh, how much you use that data is also important because from that it can reflect on the generation because if demand is high generation will be also high so both are vice versa so how you can Im implement ems based solution on iot platform like different energy meters different field instruments are connected in in a field and energy meter what i said earlier energy meter different parameters in there already there in control panel electrical panel is there and if uh, three phase or single phase whatever what are the critical parameter in ems ems voltage current power power factor these are the main parameter which can be monitored which can be controlled as a part of critical analysis because from that and that only any energy board can be can judge how much you do, how many how much utility is there and any any requirement is there on generation is high or low so gateway any wireless gateway or wire gateway or sim card based gateway can be used on because every gateway has a capacity in the market per gateway 10 instruments per gateway 20 instruments per gateway 15 instruments can can, can be connected single time like so i am giving two three example of manufacturing of gate manufacturer gateway tinka moksa then uh, ivon that kind of there are many uh, manufacturing companies right now who are making gateway so uh this is a basic stuff and basic uh, architecture of ems and same once you will get the data on uh, cloud so you can you can see the data on cloud like here you can see that different algorithm different pie chart is there i will share i will share that different screen at the end of the my session so i will explain in that. so this is now second one is the current monitoring system everyone aware that in a civil industry or any marine industry or any ship industry crane is a very critical component here you can say an instrument you can product or you can say it's the heart of that industry so how what parameter how you can control crane system so i point out that these are the parameters which are the main parameter of any crane like i will uh, discuss from the very first this is a wheel mechanical device that is also main part like brake oil 
temperature measurement in there. I mean, if it is in an open area, obviously, screen will be in open area. So, if temperature measurement is there and temperature sensor is there, then if uh, temperature will be high, that will be, that will be alert for any crane. So, that data can also fetch on a cloud. And these are control function box type that all are uh, all terminal blocks and all the wire will be and all these are fill instruments are connected in this junction box and from that you can transfer the data at anywhere so different type of measurement is there like frequent temperature speed measurement stress measurement pulley measurement vibration measurement wind measurement because wind factor is also is there in uh, like suppose any shipyard is there and because this is a load because if load is high and wind direction is opposite so it's possible to damage the crane so if that will be alert message at control room if wind is uh, very high and it's in a very danger point so you cannot work that will be alert message can be very huge amount that can be there that can be huge amount for that then stress is a pulley if over capacity that can be a pop-up or alarm at control room so stress like strain gauge with module can can be inserted and that can be transfer the data on local server and from local server you can transfer the data on cloud then vibration measurement suppose heavy load is there and uh, over capacity is there and your crane will be vibrate or a pulley or this stuff is, can be vibrate so this is uh, also a very critical parameter so mainly in a crane uh, you observe that uh, trace wind all uh, temperature pressure and electrical parameter obviously these are the heart of that because without power without that crane cannot be worked like voltage current what i said earlier voltage current power factor so uh, these kind of parameters are monitor control on local or as well as cloud so the second application this is how database can be approached while you are developing the code so total six part is there first is from where you uh, from where you can retrieve data like from data source you collect the data and you start the preparation for the data analysis and data analysis there are a few five parts data cleaning data transformation different selection of features and different engineering work and the reduction part so in data preparation whatever client's requirement is there how which type of dashboard you want which type of which parameters you want on dashboard and uh, how what is your gui how how your algorithm can be worked so this can be preparation work in that then actual work will be done model to make the uh, perfect model how you make the model there are multiple possibilities there different algorithm different programming language uh, different communication protocol which is depends on your hardware so that can be easily you can select in that then your evaluating part once you fetch the data once you develop the data once you develop the your gui now evolution part is there then after evolution it's time to a deployment deployment is nothing but your commissioning evolve what in other words on cloud or local whatever as per client's requirement deployment when you can see you can see arrow is there deployment is connect correct connected with your evolution evolution connected with your preparation so deployment is a like prefab before testing and final your monitoring complete system so this is a complete database approach before deployment or you can say before approach on cloud or on iot based solution these are the cloud what i discussed that dashboard you can say this health monitoring historical data these are different settings log management 
profile. I will explain you each and every point. This is a basic dashboard for the uh, crane management. What, what right now we are working is a basic example. In a crane, what I say earlier, the power generation, different time period. Suppose in February, it is the power generation in the March, April, May. So all have it, uh, in every month, we have divided in three parts. So at in, a, in a, every part, you can say up, down, up, down. And this is a power factor. So you can say that some part is at some point power factor is high, some part power factor is average. It is a very low because maybe at the time power generation or power analysis will be there. This is a voltage, voltage, obviously voltage will be at the same level. Then current is a sinusoidal wave. This is a basic dashboard. This is health monitoring, which is the main parameter for any industry. Because health, everyone knows this. If our body, we also want health monitoring. We like uh, we are taking very health conscious. So for our what what we do, our food or our lifestyle, that can be factor is there. So in same way in industry, health monitoring also is there. In in industry, field instruments are there. Every field instrument have its own role. Suppose I will discuss. I, I can discuss like uh, pre cool management. So oil me measurement temperature is there. Suppose oil, they have a set target that will uh, about temp about this degree temperature. It can be pop up, it can be push, it can be set alarm. So in dashboard, you can uh, everyone can see. Suppose this is alarm. Uh, it, beyond that temperature limit, so that that can be easy to see any maintenance department, any concerned person can measure monitoring. If suppose predictive analysis and future analysis also is there for next seven days, 15 days. Suppose today is, is assuming that temperature 33 and that kind of dashboard also is possible for the future point of view predictive analysis. Next seven days, weather is okay. So we can continue, you can do work. And suppose any one of one day temperature or weather can be fluctuate. So it can be possible to pop up the message. Then your thermal imager. What is thermal imager? Thermal imager is uh, nothing but to check your temperature of electrical parameters like your current voltage directly without fetching. Like clampometer is there. So high, by help of clampometer, you can fetch data on your particular devices. This is a frequency and this is a vibration measurement. What I said earlier in green monitoring, vibration measurement is also one of the one of the critical parameters for that. So without uh, analysis, you can not judge that that, uh, uh, that particularly and mainly that device is out of control or device is not particularly not in a full range or not working properly. From these analysis on analysis for which purpose? From these analysis, you can uh, con you can fetch data. You can consider that field devices or particularly that devices what you are controlling is on healthy condition or unhealthy condition. So from that you avoid any accident or avoid any losses. For that and only. Industry is now looking for for the cloud-based monitoring system and controlling system is there. Then third, historical data. Suppose your your crane is working since thirty days and you want data on tenth date of last month. How many hours crane work in shift wise? Eight hours crane work and at in eight hour particularly at any moment. Uh, load is high or load is low is very low and power consumption is there. So for that historical data analysis is there to analysis the data shift wise or location wise also is there. Suppose there are multiple locations, multiple cranes is there. You want data of location X. So you you can click on location X and you can get the data. And there are 
facilities also is that you can export the data in PDF or in XLS or in micro, whatever, whichever you you like. That uh, that can be you can see in historical. Now, third one application is a pumping station monitoring. In pumping station monitoring, there there are the, these are the different challenges in hardware side. What which data you want on a data storage at data storage section like UPS. UPS is your power backup and power backup. There are multiple facilities there. The 30 minute power backup, 60 minute power backup, 45 minute power backup. So suppose uh, energy uh, losses is there and no energy and no electricity. So at that time, UPS can be standby. But if electricity is not there, you cannot monitor the data because during that time, you cannot you cannot monitor the data. But if you are connected with UPS, so at particular that duration, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, your data cannot be lost. Your data, you cannot possible that you uh, you lost the data on cloud. So if your UPS connected with your cloud on means your gateway, you can fetch the data of UPS also on your particular that local server. UPS is also the main key point for any pumping station. So in pumping station, these are the different hardware are connected in that, like diesel tank, also obviously for the consumption. Then uh, suppose rainwater blogging indications they want that is a advanced feature is there. Then security, like uh, for the any station, every uh, shift wise particular security is there. So their attendance system they want on cloud, like at what time any person is there, they finger on barcode scanner, so the data they want on cloud. There is a security. Then MS room temperature, they won't monitor. And the automatic line on, on off will be also is there. Then uh, battery health, battery health of UPS or any particular, any uh, devices which are which work on battery. So battery health, like it's on uh, healthy or moderate or any low, low uh, on low stage. These, these are different level of battery health. That can be possible on battery health and then panel room light light on off suppose in right now is in home automation also is there and different type of devices are available in the market for the home automation like light on off that can be also possible in industry also and you can pass it on cloud then electrical valve there are different type of valve in the market solid node industrial valve two-way valve three-way valve one-way valve Mechanical valve, so valve position and uh, valve work, valves working condition test can be done done through your gateway. Then uh, different parameter testing, wind direction. What I say earlier, in wind sensor is there. So with help of wind sensor, you can uh, take data of your particular location of wind, in which direction wind is there, north, east, northeast. Which south, whichever direction is there, and you can measure speed also for that wind. Then uh, pressure testing. What is pressure testing? And uh, uh, pressure transmitter, pressure sensor is there, so you can back at the data uh, in unit of psi, in unit of uh, bar, whatever. Then your yard lighting means complete stations light monitoring. Energy meter, which I said earlier. So these are the parameters of pumping station, where station can be controlled, can be monitored completely through your gateway to nodes. Node is what is node? Node is your uh, collection area because every gateway limitation. So if you connect it with nodes, nodes have a these uh, nodes have a uh, characteristics there. Suppose you have a one fifty. Devices are there in the field. So in the field, uh, you want data of each and every field devices on your cloud. So through node, mark in market, nodes are available. Through node, node is connected with your gateway. And through gateway, you can transfer the data on your data storage or your whatever you can say. There are different names in, in the market like workstation, server station, engineering station, data acquisition system. So 
through that we can the data we can transfer the data and uh, now i hope you understand what are the dashboard which type of dashboard is there for the analysis purpose so these are the pumping station this is a pumping station monitoring now basic industrial architecture of complete system uh, i can i will give you in brief integration like gathering the data acquisition monitor the data and analysis on cloud or locally so these brief of analysis and this is a complete brief architecture of your cloud computing monitoring this is a vision camera light source processing unit the cloud database cloud have a different storage devices also for your information and these are the system monitor like your pc and integration part your controller is there so this is this is application of pick and place you are aware the pick and place robot is there in the market so many companies manufacturing their pick and place robot is there so without any man without any human efforts now robot is also working in the market the different type of pick and place robot is also is there head robot can be select, can be selected in the way of x axis y axis z axis like two axis requirement you want three three axis requirement or you want single like horizontal vertical and horizontal vertical both way so depends on your application so these are the industrial application for the iot based solution which i uh, discussed earlier so these are basic photos which uh, for your reference i put in that like barcode scanner qr scanner photo identification food qc department you know i said pcb quality check automotive machine part and packaging devices and seal checking bottle seal almond if any almond is uh, there not uh, properly and uh, missing is there and product seal like any bottle filling button of uh, sorry any push that kind of that kind of uh, level can be measured and uh, in a tablet any tablet is missing in a strip time strip 20 number of strip whatever so this is a live industries example where iot can be pitch can be push so how you uh, you are in uh, just near to complete your engineering so how you can implement how you can approach if you are interested in this kind of uh, industry so what you can do if you are interested in this kind of activity you are you must aware that you have to gain knowledge day to day what is in market and be corporate and be knowledge gain person and you can get uh, salary structure this kind of you can get because in the market how you can get good salary compared to any other it's based on your knowledge based on your expertise based on your level and based on your performance if you have any of if you have all in that then you can say that this is a get that go so this is a basic and this is a bonus for me as per my industry experience if you are interested in any of that so we can we have that kind of knowledge is there so thank you very much for your time i think i have covered basic not in detail so thank you very much if you have any doubt if you want any information this is my number this is my email id and you can contact to parath sir also or contact me if you want any more session or if you want any more details and we can discuss also so over to you parath sir thank you very much for your time okay uh, thank you jamin sir for providing the uh, such a valuable knowledge to our students as well uh, because uh, we are working on the different iot project as well okay because many a students those who are having their uh, project which is uh, based on industrial iot's okay mm -hmm. so yeah. from uh, uh, student side i would like to ask a very, one of the very basic question okay sir if any student mm -hmm. want to start their industrial iot project okay because apart mm -hmm. from this right now currently we are having the uh, 
uh, not MCU board, which is more useful in the student level. Okay, but if mm -hmm. a student wants to start their industrial IoT project uh, or uh, industrial IoT product, okay. Mm -hmm. So what are yeah. the basic uh, microcontroller de uh, development board they can use or they can start? So because see, we have to go apart from that particular ordinary student base. Uh, development boards are there because when we launch yeah. the product in the market okay we must have some specification or some specific uh, or on uh, hardware components over there as well okay so from mm. where or which particular controller they can use and they can start so uh, they are in the, their own product in the market as well because we have the students from robotics background mechatronics background uh, mm. also there okay or some of the students those who are from the uh, instrumentation and control background okay. over there as well yeah mm -hmm. So in the market right now, uh, there are different uh, uh, gateways there and different basic uh, tools are available for the beginner. Like on Raspberry Pi module is there on uh, in Raspberry Pi. Uh, many of students are working on that, and I have my own uh, devices also is there. I have made own devices also is there for my current organization. So you can say that uh, uh, as per as my knowledge. Uh, students can work, start work on Raspberry Pi because it's a basic level. Once they can expertise on that, then uh, they can use industry based uh, gateway like what I say, Moksa, Sinka, that kind of gateway is there. And for that, they have to expertise on the lang programming language basic like uh, S Microsoft SQL, MQTT, or Linux. These are the basic three uh, programming tools and programming language, you can say that. It can be uh, useful for the beginners, and gradually, if they are expertise there, they can make their own tools. They can make their own hardware also. But what whatever I feel, whatever I do, that can, I already share that. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, now, uh, uh, can, uh, okay. Uh, can you please provide some uh, intensive? Uh, do you have any intensive opportunity at uh, your own organization? So students who are working. Yes, definitely. We are. We are uh, yes, yes, yes. We are. In, we are welcoming interns. So okay. every year, our companies organize. Uh, companies doing placement also. So uh, we are. Uh, we are taking intern and intern has six months. So after completion of internship of six months. Companies, uh, company, uh, companies absorb them and uh, they can work as employee also. That can be also possible right now. Yes, sir. And uh, can we have the uh, industry-related projects in which our students can work? Because yes, uh, we, uh, students, 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 are, are students can work on our project only. Okay, Whatever yeah, yeah. company company have a project, intern can yeah. work on that project. So they can they have a live exposure. They can be visit on uh, particular projects uh, at location. What I say that uh, suppose we have an ONGC based project and your client's requirement is to, to visit the particular location. So we can uh, we can take intern at location though. So we can get in knowledge, we can get how how industry can work. So that can be also possible. Good. Okay. So definitely I will come again to contact you because again we have requirement for the industry expert for the our faculty development program as well for student development. Definitely program I will well. always there. Just uh, yeah. anywhere, anytime you can contact me. I will be yes, available sir. in the weekend. And if you so, we can if you want to plan any whole day workshop like that, you can also work on definitely for that. Yeah, so definitely sir. I will call you uh, yeah in the physical campus, uh, in our Power University campus for physical session as well. Uh, because now the strength of students is good. Okay, and we are in the mode of to call the different industry experts for the workshops, uh, for seminars, for uh, different different okay. expert talk as well. Okay, and definitely I will contact to you. But uh, we need some. Uh, our basic requirement is we have to go with the industrial projects and industrial uh, requirements are there because no, we have Correct. to go apart from the, our ordinary syllabus as well. But when yes, students go to the market or after because we are dealing with the almost our pre-final or final students. Okay. And okay. we might we make sure that once they place or they visit any company, they must have some basic knowledge of the industrial requirements. Okay. So on on that particular uh, things, we call industry experts from different different industry as well. Okay, and I'm looking for okay. the IoT and embedded system design in the power university as well. Okay, so our, my main requirement is in domain of in the, uh, industrial IoT or industrial uh, real time embedded where system projects are there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm. we have um, a lot of students out there. They are really ready to work in the different uh, IoT project, embedded project, or in the industrial projects as well. Okay. Okay. So, 
and here even we are organizing different uh, events like hackathon is one of the major event uh, at power university we are organizing because, yeah, yeah, and that. we call the industry expert to review their work because students are all, mm -hmm. uh, also into uh, into uh, to do some work uh, on industry problem statement as well Right. Definitely, I will happy. That, you, yes, yes, sir. We, we, I will come and contact to you again. Okay, and thank you again on behalf of Pal University uh, for providing thank a you. valuable knowledge and giving. Thank your you very much, students. Thank you very much, everyone. Yes, Keep in touch. We'll definitely we help. Yes, sir, Whatever definitely. I will try yeah, to help. Definitely, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, goodbye.